Allegations of shenanigans in Detroit came out last night and more. Smartmatic, so allegedly, they get their some of their licensing from Dominion. I thought they had no financial ties. Huh? This is the end of hour one of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. It is Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. Stay tuned for hour two. Jesse Lee Peterson will be right back. But first, fake news, not fake news. Corrupt and incompetent blacks over counting ballots? Thousands of the same ballots were scanned numerous times in Dominion machines, according to a contractor witness. The Epic Times reports Melissa Carone, a freelance IT worker, assisted Dominion as a contractor at Detroit's ballot counting site at TCF Center. Election day and the following day. Hours and hours and hours. That's that pretty blonde lady if you were watching the hearing last night with the obnoxious bratty voice and cute messy hair. A liberal blue check mark. she her on Twitter said described her as being drunk and the radical homosexual website Raw Story was all over that saying that Rudy Giuliani had tried to calm this woman down when she was challenged by liberals questioning her and she puffed up. But she testified before the House Michigan Oversight Committee yesterday, Wednesday, December 2nd, that she witnessed at least 30,000 ballots counted numerous times in Dominion machines. I observed numerous employees, city workers, running batches of ballots through the tabulations, tabulators, countless times without discarding them first. Tabulating machines would jam two or three times an hour, and the proper way to scan ballots when there's a paper jam is reset the count on the machine. Discard the count and rescan all of them with the jammed paper on top. That's what she says. Instead of discarding, they were rescanning, 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 said Carone. Countless ballots nine to ten times. There were two, 22 to 24 tabulating machines at the site, and she observed malpractice thousands of times, according to her. While she was at the site. Meanwhile, a head honcho of Dominion didn't care. She alerted her manager, Nick Iconomakis, Iconomakis, no C's, all K's, about the issue. He's one of the Dominion patent owners from 2005, 2012, 2018. She said, I called my manager to a specific tabulating machine. I guess he was there on site. And I showed him a number on it that was over 500. It shouldn't be over 50. Ballots come in batches of 50. He, this Nick Iconomakis guy, said, Melissa, I don't want to hear that we have a problem. We are here to assist with IT. We are not here to run their election. And at that point, I was really frustrated, she said, and upset. I could tell what was going on, she said. He was in on it. They were cheating. It was very, very apparent, Carone said. It was apparent that he was in on it. Well, when he caught on to me knowing that he was in on it, he just wanted nothing to do with me, she stated. Any other witnesses? Asked why more witnesses didn't come forward. Melissa Carone said, My life has been destroyed because of this. I've lost family, friends. I've been threatened. My kids threatened. I've had to move, change my number, get rid of social media. Nobody wants to come forward. Can't even get an actual job anymore because Democrats like to ruin your lives. That's why. That's Detroit, huh? But a second witness, witness did come forward. A Republican poll challenger stated the same thing as she did. Pretty much saying I could tell most of these people didn't have enough training and they were just mindlessly doing their job and have and hundreds of hundreds of uh, recount double counted rather than uh, just a single count. Whistleblowers called into question over one million ballots, according to the Amistad Project, which is working on exposing voted voter alleged voter fraud. Right. That's from Revolver News and the National Pulse. The Amistad Project has gathered whistleblowers and sworn declarations saying completed ballots were shipped across state lines. Postal service workers told to prioritize Biden mail and throw Trump mail in the junk or undeliverable. And that officials tampered with Dominion systems to prevent an audit. And th with 300,000 ballots at issue in Arizona, 548,000 in Michigan and 204,000 in Georgia and over 121,000 ballots at issue in Pennsylvania. Smartmatic claims that it prohibits political donations, but yet 86% of their staff gave in their donations gave to Democrats. That's from Revolver News and the National Pulse, the company's web.